Hey folks, Drone Tech here. Doing a little something different uh, today. Uh, looking to maybe change up how I do videos. And I uh, just thought I'd try this format uh, as opposed to my usual format today. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about this guy, uh, Mike Grunwald. He's the senior editor at Politico and the editor at large. Um, yeah, probably he would call himself an objective journalist, I have no doubt. And uh, of course his politics don't influence his reporting. But uh, today he tweets, he tweets out, uh, we're supposed to be mad at Biden because he copied a few lines of his climate plan from environmental groups. That's not plagiarism, that's agreeing. Now, you know, at first I kind of, you know, I was thinking about this and I thought maybe that's not plagiarism, you know, maybe because if he's just, if he's just caught, you know, taking, you know, if his uh, talking points are just the same talking points that, you know, that he's getting from AOC or whoever on the left, I mean, that's, that's common, right? I mean, we all kind of do that to some degree, but um, I don't think that's actually what happened here. Uh, it's more than just that he's agreeing with, you know, and, and repeating some talking points. He's literally just taking like line by line things from other websites, other climate websites or, or you know, other um, statements that, Dem you know, other Democrats who are running for president have given. Um, and so it's not the same thing. But of course, he's, he's trying to make it as if all Biden did here was just agree with AOC's climate plan. Um, so it actually turns out that um, some people, you know, called him out on this and they're like, oh, well, you know, if, if if you're saying that that's not plagiarism, why is it that in this case, you know, you were attacking a Republican for plagiarize for plagiarizing Michelle Bachman? And if you go to the article here, this BuzzFeed article, you know, it says right there, another Republican Senate candidate is a plagiarist. And uh, the article says a Republican Senate candidate in Nebraska appears to have heavily plagiarized his position on immigration from Michelle Bachman, Arizona Senator John McCain's immigration reform plan and report from the federal, I'm sorry, Federation for Immigration Reform. In many instances, Omaha banker Sid uh, Dinsdale text is exactly the same as another text. So they're saying that, you know, he, he took his position and, uh, he found the words of Michelle Bachman and just, you know, word for word said the same thing. So in this case, Mike Grunwald thought that it was plagiarism. But in this case, when it's Joe Biden, suddenly it's not. And of course, you know, he's getting he's getting ratioed pretty hard here in his Twitter. Boy, if I could have only gotten away with this agreeing in my college English class <laughs> so I could copy political articles call them mine so long as it's just me agreeing <laughs> and yeah of course this is typical of what we see in the media when it comes to so-called journalists you know putting themselves out there to defend democrats it's always some sort of spin and and, and i don't want to get too far off course here but you know you hear them repeat often that there's you know tr trump lies all the time ten thousand lies go go check out which happened to be on politico get on politico check out the uh the supposed ten thousand lies from Trump and you'll what you'll find is that almost all of them I mean there there's a couple in there you could say Trump was wrong I don't know if I say Trump is lying he, Trump is wrong but most of them is just game you know semantic games with words or um, you know it's just the, the journalists opinion that they think is fact simply because they hold that position because they hold that position that makes it a fact so and, uh, you know, people are pointing out that Joe Biden, this isn't the first time that, that he's done this. And that actually, uh, when it came to our friend Bernie Sanders, that he actually did the same thing with him. You know, Bernie Sanders said, uh, every child has a right to quality K through 12 education, regardless of your race, regardless of your income and regardless of your zip code. And then Joe Biden comes out and says, education shouldn't depend on child's zip code, race or their parents' income. Which, I mean, is essentially the same thing. Although, you know, again, I don't know if I'd really call this, you know, a hard P plagiarism. It's, um, he's definitely, he's definitely flirting with it. But I don't, you know, I don't know if i call that plagiarism. But again, really, this is about a fake journalist, a fake left-wing Democrat posing as a journalist, who in one instance calls that same thing plagiarism. But in the other case of a Democrat, it's not plagiarism. So, I mean, that's typically what we see uh, from these so-called, you know, free thinking um, defenders of democracy.
that call themselves journalists today, which are really just left-wing activists. Real quick, before uh, we get too far into this video, I did want to thank everybody, all of you, who have been uh, tweeting to YouTube to uh, please review my channel and re-monetize it as quickly as possible. Uh, many of you have been tweeting out to YouTube. Um, people like Dodger here saying, could you please reinstate monetization for drone tech? Uh, he has reapplied and is waiting for a response. His content is appropriate for all people, including children. This is a great YouTuber with over 70 K subs. I really appreciate it. And also pointing out that YouTube is missing out on revenue as well, which I agree with. I was earning them lots of revenue before they demonetized my channel. Um, and guys, I, I can't uh, express enough how much I appreciate you doing that. I will go through and feature all of these tweets or as many as I can. Hopefully I won't miss any and uh, future upcoming videos, but I want to let this run its course here real quick. So uh, those of you who have not done it yet, if you can, uh, just head on over to Twitter, you know, shoot them a tweet at, you know, at Drone Tech and at YouTube, asking them to please at least review my channel, reinstate it. I applied for uh, monetization months ago and still nothing. And yet I know of people that applied you know, and got it a few days later, if that. So something's definitely going on. And of course, if you want to support my channel and help it grow, and believe me, I need it uh, without monetization, uh, you know, it's a lot harder to justify spending the time that I need to be spending on this. And so I need, you know, I need people to help me continue to, to make this content. And I'm going to continue doing it to the bitter end. But, you know, if you guys want to help me, what I really need right now is subscriptions on Patreon. I know many of you have a problem with Patreon. Um, you know, it's just I'm not big enough to, to start my own thing. I, I will have a website soon, but I don't yet. Uh, and so right now, I, I need Patreon, and I need subscribers on it. So please, if you want to support me, head on over there, check it out, and I really appreciate it. So Joe Biden has apparently changed the climate plan on his website in response to these claims that he uh, plagiarized it from you know various other climate advocate websites. Uh, and Josh Nielsen here uh, actually has some examples here of the plagiarism. He says, on the left, Joe Biden's climate plan, and then has his uh, website there. On the right, a letter the Blue-Green Alliance sent to leadership of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee in 2017. So it looks like he just, on his website, he supposedly plagiarized, just copy and pasted their plan, put it on his website. So we'll see if that's true here. So it says, accelerate the development and deployment of carbon capture sequitization technology. Sequestration technology, sorry. <laughs> carbon capture use and storage, CCUS, is rapidly growing technology that has potential to create economic benefit for multiple industries while significantly reducing carbon dioxide emissions. So I guess that's what Biden said. Okay, yeah, that's from Biden's site. Now let's see what the original... Carbon capture and sequestration is a rapidly growing technology that has potential to create economic benefit for multiple industries while significantly reducing carbon dioxide. Is that what he said on there? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that is plagiarism. I mean, they, he literally just took that up from their website, it looks like. And that's almost word for word. So, yeah, I mean, that's plagiarism. I mean, that I was kind of questioning whether it was or not there, but just from the examples that were given, you know, I'm not so sure that vaguely, uh, you know, repeating the words of what uh, Bernie Sanders says is quite plagiarism. It's close, but this is definitely, no doubt, plagiarism. So this guy, Mike Grunwald, clearly a partisan hack, you know, pretending to be a journalist. When it's Biden, it's it's all these people, all these alt-writers. I'm, surpri I'm surprised he didn't blame alt-writers. I bet if I go down through here enough, he probably did. And, of course, uh, this is not the first time that Joe Biden has been accused of plagiarizing. As uh, the Washington Free Beacon documents here. The apparent copying recalls plagiarism charges that sank Biden's very first presidential run in 1988 after he gave speeches that duplicated remarks from first made by British Labor Party leader Neil Nicknock. Hope I'm getting that right. I'm not sure. The then Delaware senator also went on to admit that he was punished as a student at Syracuse Law when he was caught plagiarizing uh, a law review article. So Biden has a history. It looks like Biden has a history of touching people inappropriately, especially little girls and smelling their hair. And he also has a, a big problem with plagiarizing uh, law articles, speeches and uh, climate platforms off of uh you know, advocate websites and uh, other Democrats like AOC. I'm interested to see how CNN is reporting this right now. 
I think right here we have an ad, but uh, <laughs> so they're reporting it, but as you can see, there's damage control going on, which is how if, if the media of CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NBC, if these outlets report on Democrat scandals, it's almost always in defense of them and uh, to discredit their critics or whoever's lodging the charge at the Democrat. And uh, in this case, we see him just, you know, basically, you know, being soft on Biden. Uh, Biden campaign amends climate plan after being called out for lifting language from liberal groups, you know, not for plagiarizing liberal groups. I'm wondering if plagiarize even appears in this article. I'm not seeing it. Let's... Nope, it does not. Oh, wait, no, actually, it does right there. Plagiarism appears, but plagiarize does not. Uh, and of course, they're talking about the first time that he was accused. And uh, of course, here we have Allison Camerata, the, the Democrat operative at CNN. CNN's Camerata defends Biden over plagiarism charge. Don't you go to the experts and lift some of their terminology? <laughs> lift it. I, I love that she said lift like you're, you're uh, shoplifting it. You know, you're, you're swiping it. Because, uh, you know, when you talk about robbery or stealing something, you know, I think shoplifting is probably like the lowest form of that. It probably has the softest, nicest connotations to it. And so, of course, <laughs> he lifted some of some of these words when really we just looked at it. He copied it word for word. So uh, it definitely was plagiarized. No doubt about it. CNN's Allison Camerata and John Berman. <laughs> ostensibly defended Joe Biden on Wednesday amid accusations that the former vice president plagiarized multiple parts of his newly announced climate platform, which he did. Don't go there. Go to, don't you go to the experts, to the experts' websites and list some of their terminology and put it into your work, Camerata asked. Well, no, you don't, actually. If I go to a website, if I go to this website I'm on right now and I just write my own article on my own website and I just lift you know, paragraphs or even sentences from it, they could get me for plagiarizing it. If I did not cite where I got that article from, you're supposed to cite where you got it from. He apparently did not because they've changed it now. So, you know, he knows he did something wrong. Why Why they're still defending him when he's changed it, admitting he did something wrong, typical of CNN, you know. Apparently he's going to be uh, Biden's personal PR. But she continues, that's a footnote, or I'm sorry, Berman. That's a footnote, Berman answered. And Camerata eventually conceded that it's plagiarism when information isn't cited, which, you know, is what I just said. Um, <laughs> this is typical, and I'm sure this is basically what you're going to see throughout the media. You'll see, you know, they're going to probably softly criticize them, but they're not going to go after them, okay? They're, they're going to, it's going to be very soft criticism, and they're, and they're going to pull as many punches as possible so that when, you know, they can, it, it, it just gives them, you know, um, deniability. Uh, they can just say, oh, we're not biased. Look, we went after, we criticized them for that. Eh, not really. Because we know that if they want to criticize somebody, they can look at what they're doing to Trump. Let, you know, if you were uh, alive during Bush and you remember the Bush administration, the second Bush, um, you know, they were the same way with him. So, you know, constantly negative, constantly after him. And he could do no, no good. And uh, if they wanted to dis destroy Biden, they could do it, but they don't want to, obviously. He's their favorite. So expect a lot more of this uh, going forward uh, with any of the Democrats, really. And, and if you look, they're all being coddled and promoted by the media, which is what we can expect from not a free press, but from a political propaganda arm of the Democrat Party, which is what they are. That's all I got for you today, folks. Um, if you didn't know, I do have another YouTube channel called Drone Tech Media. I haven't done a whole lot with it up to this point, but I'm going to start soon. Uh, go on over there, Dr uh, Drone Tech Media, subscribe, um, and just sit tight. There's going to be some new, uh, hopefully exciting and entertaining content going to this channel very soon. So go on over there, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you on the next video. Um,